Today is March 18th, 2020, and this is Mazen Kerala, Infectious Disease and Critical Care Specialist. Today we'll be talking about the differences between suppression and uh, mitigation strategies uh, in the control of COVID-19 pandemic. I'm going to rely on the uh, study that was released uh, by the Imperial College COVID-19 response team uh, on, the, on March uh, 16, 2020. And before I uh, show the result of this uh, study, it is important to understand what we mean by basic reproductive number, which is the R0. That number represents the number of cases that will uh, get the disease after exposure to a single case in the community. So if we have a single case of uh, COVID-19, what we know right now is that uh, around 2.2 to 2.5 people will contract the disease from that single case. So it is important to know that without any intervention, the epidemiologic curve will uh, increase in the acceleration phase up to the peak before the cases will uh, decline and uh, the pandemic will be contained. However, there will be a huge surge of cases, especially critical care cases, and the burden on the healthcare system will, will be tremendous and uh, those cases will exceed the capacity of the healthcare system in the country. So it's important that interventions are taking uh, place and the aim of this intervention interventions is to decrease the to flatten that uh, epidemiologic curve by uh, decreasing the acceleration decreasing the peak and prolonging the pandemic so the cases uh, will be uh, all uh, falling below the healthcare capacity in the country Without doing anything uh, in the community and uh, with an attack rate of 30%, uh, mortality rate of 2%, it is expected that uh, total number of deaths in the uh, United States will, will exceed 2 million. And the total number of deaths in the UK will exceed uh, 500,000 uh, uh, deaths. So it looks like it's important to uh, select a strategy, but it is important also to uh, understand the impact of this strategy on the outcome of this pandemic. So we'll uh, uh, compare these two strategies together. The first one is suppression strategy that aims to reverse the R0, uh, bringing it down below one. That means it's going to reverse the epidemic growth and will reduce the case numbers to a low, num low levels in the community. However, we need to maintain this status till other control measures uh, such as vaccine uh, and or medications are reduced and are effective. Compared to mitigation strategy uh, aiming to reduce the R0 without decreasing it below one. And this will slow the uh, progression and the spread of the uh, disease, but uh, not necessarily stopping the epidemic spread completely. It will uh, reduce the peak healthcare uh, demand, uh, so we'll be able to accommodate uh, cases within the healthcare system. And uh, with this strategy, we should protect uh, those uh, most at risk of severe disease from the infection. So what we do with this uh, two different strategies in suppression strategy, what we do is number one, social distancing of the entire population. Compared to social distancing of elderly and others at most risk of severe disease in the mitigation strategy. And those patients who are at most uh, risk of uh, severe disease are patients above 65 years old, patients with chronic diseases such as uh, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, and other cardiac diseases, uh, chronic uh, respiratory diseases such as uh, emphysema and uh, chronic bronchitis, uh, uh, COBD. Cases with uh, diabetes, uh, hypertension, uh, cancers, and immunosuppressed patients, uh, uh, maybe we can add obesity to it too. The second thing that we do in terms of suppression is home isolation of suspected or confirmed cases, sim similar to what we do in mitigation. Also, household quarantine of uh, entire family members of suspected or confirmed cases 
uh, which is similar in both strategies. The difference would be uh, that in suppression strategy, we close school and university uh, completely for the entire duration till the uh, uh, pandemic is uh, controlled and till we have uh, other measures to be able to uh, fight this pandemic, such as vaccine. It may get to a level where we have to lock down the entire city at the same time. This is what happened in Wuhan. At that time, people need to be prevented from going to work. However, in mitigation strategy, we don't get to this level. So the differences would be closure of the school and university and all uh, uh, mass gathering and uh, the social distancing that is actually restricted to elderly and people at high risk um, in the mitigation strategy compared to the entire population, population in the suppression strategy. Now we're going to measure this, uh, and this is all speculative, uh, it's expectation, uh, uh, the mitigation strategy scenarios for uh, UK showing critical care beds requirement. So uh, in the UK, we have eight beds for each, uh, for every 100,000 uh, population. If we do nothing, it looks like uh, at the peak, we're going to require close to 270, 280 critical care beds above the capacity. This is tremendous demand on the healthcare system. But you, you notice here, even with different degree of uh, uh, interventions, the maximum that we do is case isolation, home quarantine, and social distancing for those patients at risk. Even with that, the peak would be around 90 beds, which is much higher, 10 times higher than the healthcare capacity in uh, UK. Uh, measured by the critical care uh, bed uh, numbers per 100,000 population. The suppression strategy is different, uh, and this is uh, the graph in the black without any intervention, and uh, the red line is the uh, number of uh, beds uh, uh, available uh, for each uh, 100,000 uh, population. Now, if we do school and university closure, case isolation and general social distancing, which is represented by the green uh, line, you can see that we will be below the healthcare capacity in terms of critical care uh, bed numbers. Now, if we uh, remove the, uh, social, uh, the, the school and the university closure, we will be slightly above the healthcare capacity. So the better strategy to include everything with the suppression uh, uh, strategy. However, if these intervention, interventions relaxed, we will uh, peak again and we'll go to previous level because the virus still uh, spreading within the community. So that means these interventions need to be continued till we have other measures to control the pandemic. In conclusion, suppression strategy is more reasonable choice given the constraints on uh, healthcare system and the hope of an effective vaccine and medications in the near future. This strategy should include social distancing of the entire population, home isolation of suspected cases, household quarantine of their family members, school and university closure, and this is what's been done in the United States. Thank you very much.